bless the Lord. Glory be to God. Is it frozen? Good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood in the Carolinas. Thank you for the blood in the Philippines. Amen. Thank you for the blood. Ah, thank you for the blood. It's down to category one. Thank you for the blood. We stop the storms and the water that is bringing, you know, catastrophe. In Jesus' name, yes, Lord. The blood still speaks. I told you the blood and the storm got into a ring. And the blood told the storm to behave itself. Oh. Bless the Lord. That's what I see. I told you the blood and the storm got into the ring. My God. In the name of Jesus. And the blood told the storm, be still and know that I'm God. That is what is happening this morning. We're praying the same for the Philippines. There's another one in the Philippines. We're praying for that in all the regions of this world. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, there's also some sort of explosion, gas explosion in about 70 homes exploding. Listen to me. That's what I keep saying to you. Don't follow these preachers who lie to you. Don't follow these people who think they're sophisticated, okay? Because you don't know the pipes that run through the grounds that you're walking on. Are you hearing me? You don't know the intricate networks. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what technology can do. The blood of Jesus overrides. Every now and again, technology can act up. You know, it can go crazy. See what I'm saying? People's homes blowing up. And you want to tell me that I, should, I shouldn't plead the blood over that house? I will plead the blood until the day Jesus makes himself visible to me. Amen. Better lay hands on that gas meter and command it to behave itself. Better lay your hands on the electricity that comes into your house. Well, not the wires, you know, but just, when, just, just command it in the name of Jesus to behave itself. The pressure should never rise. Amen. It will be stable in Jesus' mighty name. And what is now the stability that you put into it is the blood of Jesus. you got to command it to behave itself. Got your kids in school fighting over boyfriends and girlfriends because it's the demonic agenda to take them out. Listen to me. Listen, we are, walk, we are walking away from the things which made us powerful. We become sophisticated and we're taking things for granted. And you want to believe that everything is okay. And you don't even know that there is carbon monoxide, but the Holy Ghost, the blood, and what is that? The breath of Jesus is preventing you from breathing in that gas. You know what carbon monoxide is, right? It kills people, invincible. My God, we stabilize everything around us. Watching the news and seeing people's homes blown up like it's a movie. Sister Akila, like it's a movie. You know, like you're watching a Hollywood movie. This time you can't blame no terrorists. This time you can't blame no outside force. This is something that is happening on the inside. And you have got to pray because, listen to me, when it is invincible, it is the blood that deals with that thing that your naked eyes can see. That's why he's your fortress. That's why he's your deliverer. That is why he's your everything. I know that's right. I know that's right. In the mighty name of Jesus, your house will not blow up. It sounds stupid, right, when you pray them prayers. But watch what is happening. When we're praying them prayers, your house is secure. No arrow will come down your dwelling place. Your house will not blow up. You will not be in the bedroom and boom, the devil is a liar. You stabilize the gas. You stabilize the electricity. You stabilize any energy that is coming into that house to power it. You stabilize it in Jesus' name. And now you're going to pray that nobody turns up, you know, allegedly into your house, you know, unexpectedly and thinks that is their house and they will see you as a silhouette and shoot you. 
You better start praying their prayers. No excuse. You see what I'm saying? No excuse. You, 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 you listen. If you don't place value on your life, trust me, somebody will come and wipe you out. And 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 you you know it's this young man that was you know shouting. It, it really hurts me because I've been following the story and you know um, the police obviously the police putting down some information. They searched his house and found some cannabis. Well, hold on a minute. He was in his house. Why didn't you search the person that shot him? Why didn't you go to her house? Why didn't you search her house? Why are you going for the person who was in the comfort of his own home? Why are you searching? Why are you searching his house for? He was in his house. You have no business searching. He was in his home. I don't see you putting out any information about the person who shot You see what I'm saying, Dr. Nikisha? I don't see you putting on information, anything about it. You're leaking out this information to paint the person as a criminal when he was in his house. He was in his apartment, minding his own business. Minding his own business. What are you searching his house for? You came to my, you knock on my door, whatever, you claim the door is ajar, it's been disputed. I knew that was a lie anyway. I knew that was a lie. And I said to God, I said, God, I know this young man is resting with you, but God, don't let the perpetrators walk away. Because, Father, it will just lead to more and more. How, how many more can we bear? How many more can we take? See a young girl fighting uh, with another girl in the classroom. And the other one takes a knife and stabs her because they're both dating the same guy. Listen to me. If your child is in their relationship, you better start praying. I know some people think I'm old school. Listen to me. Listen, I don't if you live in my if you live in my you know, if you're if you're studying, you better go to school and study. I didn't send you to school to get to, to, to get into the relationship. Call me also, call me whatever you want to call me. I'm doing this to preserve your life. The girl is a straight age student. Remember, I told you. You gotta pray when they hitch them 17, 18, 19, them teenage years. Okay, 15, 14, 13, 16. You see what I'm saying? It is the devilish plan which has been put there by the devil to take them out prematurely. You see what I'm saying? It is the demonic plan. So that's when you go to that's when you talk to them. Say to me. I used to say this all the time. I said to people, I said, listen, you didn't go to school to get into the relationship. Go get your go get your education. That's what you went to school for. Call me old school. Because I'm all about preserving life. I don't want you. I don't want nobody to get into your head and mess with you. I don't want nobody to get into your head and confuse you. You better start praying, folk. You better start laying down on the floor, on the grounds, and petitioning God. Because the devil is out there looking for blood to drink. And if you... If you don't, if you don't watch yourself, you come to your house and have dinner. You come to your house and have dinner uninvited. Any uninvited guest, any uninvited principality, anybody that want to make up a story that the, your house, your flat, your apartment looks the same as them. The devil is a liar. They are not permitted to come anywhere close. They are not permitted to step into where you reside, your home. Oh, a couple of guys walking to go to a party and somebody pulls out a gun and says, you don't belong here. Mind your own business. See, now there's three black boys and there's one guy, one white guy. If he shoots them, he stands his ground. I, was, I, felt, I felt intimidated. You know, I felt like they were going to do some, something to me. Then he gets away with it. But thank God that the young men were smart enough. They were smart enough. Better start praying, folk. You see what I'm saying? And you have to understand that, listen to me, you have got to trace it right to the top. It's coming from leadership, the leadership of the nation. Okay? When certain things are being said and it is giving people the opportunity to act out a certain way because they know the law is going to back them, you've got to understand this is spiritual. It's spiritual. You see what I'm saying? It is spiritual. 
That's why you got to pray. A whole bunch of evangelicals hiding because they get opportunity to go to the White House. They think they've made it. They got opportunity to go and have dinner. I put on Facebook. Yeah, I went to the White House. I did this. You ain't done nothing. There's a bigger picture. There is something else that is going on that you need to recognize and understand. And this thing has brought division in the body of Christ. I guess the division was always there. You know, th what you've got to understand, America, let me tell you something. The last two presidents, so the Obama and, 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 and Trump, you know that it has really brought division. Obama, because you have a lot of the white evangelicals who went for him. They, they never called him their president. Okay? But now they call this one my president. Oh, yeah. You might as well say, call him my president, irrespective of the things that he's doing or that is happening. So now there's a division. Silently, there's a division. You're seeing people for their true colors. And listen to me, you cannot manipulate God. See, you can manipulate a whole bunch of people, but you cannot manipulate God. You see what I'm saying? So we have got to stand for God. You see what I'm saying? We have got to stand. You have got to stand and say, listen, God, what is your agenda? God, what is your plan? God, what is your will? Forget about the color. Forget about, you know, uh, the stuff. God, what is your what is your will concerning our land? Because we are bleeding, because we are divided. Because we're not sinking from this. Somebody is binding and somebody is losing in the same church. In the same body. We're not singing the same chords. We're not praying the same prayers. There's a division. And until we get past that. Until we deal with it. Let me tell you something. We're not going to go nowhere. We have got to remain prayerful. I blocked the wrong person. Sister Akila, let me apologize. Somebody was just confusing me. I I'll fix it. Okay, Mr. Cheryl, text Sister Akila. I believe you know and tell her that it was a mistake. I will rectify it. I was just trying to get rid of somebody who was just typing the whole heap of rubbish. In Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, help us this hour. The confusion. The confusion that we're dealing with God in our homes, in our minds, in our thoughts, in our churches, God. Help us. Help us, help us, help us, God. The Bible says that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The question this morning, God, is, is your will being accomplished? Is your will being accomplished? Our children are being stabbed in the place where they're supposed to be safe. And they're supposed to be innocent. We have hurricanes and we have storms and Father God, we have earthquakes and Father God, we're just suffering without direction. today we need you this hour we need you this second ah uh, father god reign in our lives reign in our homes reign every day father god be superior let your agenda and your perfect will begin to break forth in jesus name God, even though this hurricane has been categorized, you know, it's been downgraded. Father, it still, God, can cause some damage. But Father, we want to preserve life. 
Let light be preserved. Those who didn't move, those who stayed behind, let their lives not be lost, God. Father God, those in the Philippines, Father, those in the regions that have earthquakes and, Father God, hurricanes, those who live in the places where, God, these things are just the norm, Father, we bring them before you, God. For you know and we don't because you understand father we're asking you to please remember please restore please let your hand protect them in jesus name let your protection be around them let the devil be destroyed let the devil be silenced god holy ghost bring the church back together we have too much divisions. We have too many voices. We're not hearing the genuine voice of Jehovah. We're asking you, Father, to speak this morning and let your voice be projected to every corner ah, so that the church of Jesus Christ can arise out of this confusion, out of this, Father God, ah, drama, these challenges that we are facing. Let God arise. Let God arise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, somebody is desperate. Father, somebody is desperate. Father, somebody is locked up and in prison. Powering and they're crying for that help. They are crying for that release. They are crying. Show up for them, God. Show up for them, God. Show up for them, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lead them, guide them. Lead them and guide them. Lead them and guide them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior. Great in battle. We thank you, God. For bringing down this storm, this hurricane. Now, Father, the water that is going to be dumped, we pray that God, it will not bring harm and destruction to the people of God. We lift our prayers right now to the security agents, to the rescue agents. Father, let the blood cover them. Let not their lives be cut off. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We speak the word of God. And we declare a peace be still. Let there be a stillness in the atmosphere. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Father. Those whose homes have exploded, lost their homes. We pray that God, they will not be left alone. They will not be left alone. They may have lost, but Father, let them find themselves in you. Locate them, God, by your outstretched hands and bless them and bless them and bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. If there's a reason why the Lord, I think from the beginning of the year, we we're applying the blood. When I see the blood, I'll pass over. Uh, sometimes go over your notes. Some of you, the Lord spoke to you as you were doing your own studies. Go back and see when things didn't make sense. The Lord spoke to you. Okay? So, um, it is well. Uh, just pay attention to the news and, you know, pray for the folk in, in that part. Okay? It's not just what is happening in the Carolinas. You know, it's happening in, I believe, in, uh, in, uh, in the Philippines. And, you know, some other nations are going through these challenges and, we're asking God, okay, to show up. We're asking God to cover. 
We're asking God to protect. Okay. We're asking the peace of God to, to really be the portion of those who find themselves having these challenges coming before them. Okay. So um, it is well. It is well. It is well. Let's keep on praying. I think I heard about another shooting. These things ain't going to stop. It's not going to stop. Okay. Uh, when I say it's not going to stop, you know, it is It is the evil. But those who know their God, okay, we will be covered and we'll be, we shall be protected. Okay. So let's stay connected. Let's stay committed. And let's trust God in everything that we do. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Jesus is my savior. Jesus is your savior. He's our protection. Amen. Lay hands on your children and speak life into them. Okay. They don't need to understand. Just lay hands on them. Get you some oil and just lay hands on them and speak life into them. Cover them. Their friendships, their relationships in school. Cover them. Amen. Block any demonic relationship. Are you hearing me? Block it. Prevent it from coming anywhere near them. Don't allow it to get close to them. Are you hearing me? Don't allow it. You've got to declare it. If you don't, something and somebody will come and make that declaration. So you stand and decree it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. He's our fortress. Remember Psalm 144. He's our fortress. He's our deliverer. He's our protection. He's our shield. Amen. The shield, anything that is coming, when you lift up that shield, it it it, it just you know you know it just it, it it prevents it from coming. With there's a word I'm looking for, you know, it just prevents him. He's your shield. Nothing needs to come near you. Amen. He takes the stink out of the satanic attack. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, just continuously stay before the Lord. In prayer. Amen. We are blessed. Your children are blessed. My children are blessed. Everybody connected to us are blessed. Amen. No satanic agenda. You will not be mistaken for somebody else. Amen. Your identity will not be compromised. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day, okay? In Jesus' name. It is well. God bless you. Sister Cheryl, please tell Sister Keel I'm sorry. Okay, love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, God is so good. You know, um, we, we have enough money. I'm going to be able to get him, Philip, his laptop. Okay, I'm going to get him his laptop so he can just go ahead and study. I'm just overwhelmed by the support that we get for the ministry. I'm, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Okay, truly, it was God. It was God that... Um, gave us all this revelation that we have to support so thank you so much for everything thank you i appreciate you all amen i appreciate you god bless you in jesus name i want to say see you tonight you know you know i'm um, mikhail is a blessing you know i'm just watching him grow and just uh just experiencing him you know he has come to bless my life He's teaching me a lot. Yes, Sister Brenda, I'll sort out the emails. He's teaching me a lot. He's educating me. Okay. Uh, he's just full of love. And um, I'm blessed to have him around me. I'm blessed to be around him. That's how I see it. He's a blessing, you know, to wake up and to just, you know, just be with him. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. He's such a blessing. The last couple of days, my wife has to go out to do a, a lot of stuff. So I get I get the chance to, you know, be with him from morning, bath him, feed him, rock him to take his naps, you know, just be there for him. So it's a blessing. You know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Amen. God is good. God is good. Thank you so much, okay? So I need to unblock Sister Akila. Sister Cheryl, tell Sister Akila, I'm so sorry. Love you all as the Lord blesses you. Just remember us, okay? As the Lord increases you, as the Lord protects you, as the Lord, you know, lays his hands on you. Remember us, okay? In Jesus' name. I love you all. God bless you.
have a blessed day. I'm going to pray that the, the surge, you know, the water. I spoke to Prophet Khan. He said, I said, Prophet Khan, are you, are you, are you okay? He said, I'm in Jacksonville. I said, but still, are you okay? He said, yeah, 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 we're going to be fine. You know, just checking on him to make sure that he's okay. You know, because, you know, he knows me. I don't like this kind of stuff. He said, oh, but you do want all them prayers and you get scared. I said, I'm not scared. I just don't like this kind of stuff, you know. I like all this storm and this water, you know, I don't like it. So, it is well. Okay? I know there's a whole bunch of people praying. Christians are praying. So, there's no coincidence that it's been downgraded. You know, it's not just the water. We just need to pray that it just, you know, it doesn't go anywhere near people's homes. Amen? So, it is well. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you later. In Jesus' name. Let's just continue to pray. You know, have a compassion, okay, for people, okay? God bless you. Bye-bye. Precious saints. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm, I'm, I'm excited this morning because I'm looking at the news and it looks like the hurricane has been downgraded. And so that is that is something to thank God for, okay? Because uh, I know there's a whole bunch of folk praying. There's a whole bunch of folk praying, asking God to intervene. You understand? I'm, I know there's a whole bunch of saints, sanctified saints, praying, asking God to intervene. And so I, I, I started getting the news and I'm like, yes, Lord, thank you. Yes, Jesus. From what, what was it, category five to now a category two. Uh, we can still pray that, you know, whatever damage, you understand, is being planned, it won't manifest. Amen. Because Jesus is our fortress. Because Jesus is our high tower. Because Jesus is our deliverer. Because Jesus is our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. Amen. And so we thank Him and and, and we glorify Him and you know we just we just know the power of prayer. That's what we know. We just know the power of prayer. Amen. In Jesus mighty name uh, Psalms 145 says uh, verse 14 it says the Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down okay so this morning if you feel like you have fallen if you feel like you are bowed down the Lord God that we serve upholds the Lord God lifts those of us who are struggling, those of us who are nervous. Amen. God is the doer of such things. And so I want us to come to him this morning with one voice. Let's thank him. Okay. Let's thank him because whatever the plot was, it is now being reduced. It is now being dealt with. The voice of the Lord is in operation. Remember I said to you, I said, you know, we were saying yesterday that I can see the Holy Spirit. I can see Jesus. I can see the blood and the storm coming together. And when the storm saw the blood, it bowed. You remember yesterday, that's what the Lord was saying to us. I can imagine it coming together and there is a bowing. You see, whenever you find yourself bowed down, it is that thing that wants to keep you bowed down. But what just now? When God gets involved, when God gets into the midst, what just now, whatever it is that is called, because what just now, the act of you bowing down because of the trouble, because of the circumstance, it is really a plan, a three-step plan to getting you into your grave prematurely. Ooh, I just said something right there. Kuramasia. Listen to this now. Anytime you find yourself in that posture and it's not worshiping God and it's trouble, it is dilemma, it is bills, it is issues and it's causing you to do this. It is giving you a preview 
of where your future lies that is six feet under. My God. It is trying to get you to make that vision your permanent location. The vision being what you see. The earth, the sand, where you came from. It is trying to get you there prematurely. My God. But the God that we serve, the God that we serve, has the capability and the ability to raise you up when you are bowed down. Because what just now, the eyes of all look expectantly to you. And you give them their food in due season. The eyes of all look expectantly to you. And you give them their food in due season. What just now? Can I just pause for a second and give you a revelation? Psalms 145, verse 14. Psalms 145, verse 14. It is reading. Oh, Lord, help us. Uh, the eyes of the Lord. Sorry. The eyes of all who look expectantly to you and you give them their food in due season. Is it, is, it, is it possible that the reason why you find yourself bowed down is because you are in your due season? You are in your due season because there is an, an, an opening that needs to come to you. But what is now? You have got to be in the position of bowing down in order for you to experience that due season. I'm trying to change my location for the connection to get better. You are in your due season. I am in my due season. We are in our due season. We are in our due season. We are in our due season. Our due season. Our season of expectancy. Our season of breakthrough, our season of excellence, our season of perfection, our season of glory, our season of, 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 of help, our season of breakthrough. In the matchless name of Jesus. I want us to carry on. Let's not give up. Let's not give in, okay? Just because it's not being reduced to category two. They're still saying that, you know, the catastrophe and, you know, the damage is still, you know, it's still going to be a lot, you know. But, but we know that we can still push intercessory. We can push in prayer and command certain things that have been plotted and planned still to be reduced by virtue of our ability to touch heaven. My God, there's a fire that there's somebody who gives that is in the path of this. The Bible says, what is now? He says, and I will rebuke that which devours. Who is going to do the rebuking? Sister Elizabeth, God is going to do the rebuking. We've got to remind him to do the rebuking. God, don't sit on my giving. Don't sit on my sacrifice. Don't receive it and don't do nothing with it and, and, and about it. I didn't say he said it. This is the time when you take up the scriptures and you talk to God. Praise the Lord. You engage God in warfare. He said he would do the rebuking. Name of Jesus. Going to bring all our tools out. We're going to go into warfare. Going to go into warfare. He's going to do the rebuking. He's going to do the rebuking. The name of Jesus. The God that we serve. He's the one that rebukes. You hear me? He's the one that rebukes. The storm is passing over. In the name of Jesus. This is the God that rebukes. And this morning I'm bringing our sacrifices and our offering. The records of it. In the archives of prayer mantle. In the ministry that the Lord has given us. This is a record of those who give and consistently and continuously give even in their difficulties, even with their challenges, they still see a need to place others before themselves. 
uh, because of the characteristics of the God that we serve. Holy Ghost, this is not the opportunity. This is not the time for you to sit still and don't do nothing. This is rather the hour for us to see a move, for us to see that, Father God, the report of our weather forecasters, the report of the meteorologists, yes, they are only telling us what they see, but, Father God, to us, they are giving us information, they are giving us a strategy, they are giving us information that we can used to wage a warfare in the realms of the spirit. God, we thank you that the first thing that they did was they gave us the name for the storm. Because the word teaches us that at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. So God, Florence has, said, has a tongue. Florence, my God, this hour has been given to a hurricane. And Father God, we are specific this hour because the hurricane's name is Florence. Ah, and Father, it is supposed to bring catastrophe, damage, destruction. Father, it is supposed to dump so much water, Father God, into the homes and into, Father God, the livelihoods of people. But we serve a God that we know is far superior. Superior. We serve a God whose son, the only begotten son, one day was sleeping and there was a storm and it was a demonic storm and he rose up from his sleep and he decreed to the storm, peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still and know I'm God all by myself. I am excellent and I am wonderful and I have power. The storm wasn't there before Christ came. Christ was before the storm. My God. And so now we are decreeing the words of Christ over this storm. We are decreeing the words of God. We are superimposing the wishes of Christ. God, protect your own. Protect your own. Protect your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Protect your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Protect your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not perish. Let us not face disaster. Let us rise up from this and have a stronger testimony than we had yesterday in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, read something else in the papers this morning. I don't know if you picked it up. 16-year-old girl fighting with another girl in the class over a boy and one of the girls stabbed the other. And apparently they were dating the same guy. I don't know who picked it up. They were dating the same brother. So they, they got themselves into an a straight age student. This was in no, you know, a straight A student in America. Straight A. Who, how many of you seen, seen the story? How many of you seen the story? A straight A student in school. I keep telling people, listen, you, you have got to count the doctrines that some of these preachers are letting. Listen, a whole bunch of stuff is going on that their doctrines is not what is going to save you. You see what I'm saying? You have got to get into that place of warfare. So it's all over the news. 16 year old, one six. Teenagers. He's 16 or 17. Fighting over a boy. An argument ensued, and out of the argument, one of them got a knife and stabbed the other. So now one girl has been arrested. Possibly will spend most of her life in jail. While the other is dead and gone. Stopped there eight times. I know for sure nobody. Okay, Sister Juanita, I know for sure you didn't send your child to be buried. You know, you didn't send your child to school for her to die. You see what I'm saying? So if I'm saying to you that let's pray and cover our children with the blood and someone will say, it don't take all of that. You people, you're too much. You know, you're too super spiritual. You know, you don't need to do all of that stuff. 
Just go to church and say, Kumbaya, just Kumbaya. You know, the Lord's going to bless you. Turn around three times. Spin around four times. We got devilish agents. What is time? The very same time Moses was born, the Pharaoh who was going to torment him was also born. You see what I'm saying? Anytime, what is time? That child of yours that is destined for greatness, you have got to understand that the same way that you birthed that child, there is a satanic agent who was also birthed at the very same time. And what is now? If you don't pray and order the steps of that child and give that child over to God, the steps of your child, what is now? will somehow meet with a tormentor somewhere in her life or in his life. That is why, what is now, before Jesus came, there was somebody called John the Baptist who came to prepare the way. Even in the preparation of the way for Jesus, look at the challenges that Jesus faced in his ministry and in his life. And there was somebody who prepared the way for him. Are you preparing the way for your children? Are you preparing the way for your loved ones? Are you waking up every morning and you're decreeing that your son will not have baby mothers? My God, I decree that Micaiah will not have a baby mother. I decree that Jamila will not be a baby mother to somebody. I decree and I declare that nobody will come into my daughter's life and trap her in Jesus' name. Are you praying those prayers? Are you praying those prayers? You know, the old folk pray them prayers. Are you praying them prayers? I decree that the jailhouse will not be the permanent address of my son. My God, Micaiah will never know a place called the jailhouse. He will never. Only time he will go into the jailhouse is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to the inmates in there. You might think that is too far-fetched. I, 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 have you prayed them prayers? Are you praying them prayers over, you, over your children? Or are you just going to sit in church waiting for entertainment? Where the preacher will just come and hope and holler. The preacher will tell you, yeah, the Lord said, give this. The Lord said, sow this. That's all that you... Are you praying them prayers? Bunch of three black boys trying to go to a party in a lift. Somebody just shows up with the gun and says, you don't belong here. Now, if a misunderstanding ensues, the person will take out the gun and shoot them and say, I felt threatened. You know, the police will come, oh, there was, you know, it, you know, it was three black boys, so, you know, he did feel threatened. Are you praying prayers? It might look or sound like it is far-fetched. Nothing is too far-fetched for me in 2018 when I can read on the news that there is a young man in his own apartment and somebody would get into his apartment and shoot him dead and had the audacity to give a statement that I gave the person commands and he didn't listen. Why are you in somebody's apartment giving the owner of the apartment commands? Are you mad? Call it whatever you want to call it. Ain't no such thing as coincidence. It is a targeted plot. And so when I'm praying, see, nothing is too far-fetched for me. Sister Tamala, nothing. Nothing. Because, see, you check on social media, even people that would normally be like, mm, nobody seems to be able to make sense of this one. How does it make sense? Because even those in the law enforcement are saying that if you're saying that the door was opened, what is now, and you felt there was somebody in there, even as a law enforcement officer, you need to step out and call for backup. So it's not making sense. So I would pray. Oh, I would pray. When I see his brother, I think he's 15, 16 year old, in the background of the press conference, crying his eyes out because he's lost his older brother and it doesn't make sense. I will come.
cover myself and I'll cover my loved ones. I will pray daily. I will pray continuously. I will keep on praying and trusting God. I will keep on believing. I will keep on trusting Him. Because He's God of all flesh. In Jesus' name. Of all flesh. In Jesus' mighty name. We commit our ways to God. We commit our children to God. We commit our loved ones to God. Let the blood of Jesus be the policy that we find ourselves hidden within that policy, which is the blood of Jesus covers, protects, and prevents the enemy from getting anywhere close to us. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed. Amen? We've done our part. Go, go, go ahead. Go have the blessed day today. Don't be scared of nobody. Don't fear nobody. Listen to me, and I say this. Most of the things that you have seen, especially in, you know, the United States of America, it is because there is, or the authoritative figure, which whether it's deliberate or it's not deliberate, I don't know, but whatever it is, see, it's almost like the authorization has come from the top, and so people feel as though it's a spirit, but they feel that they can do whatever they want to do, because they feel superior. That's why you have got to be prayerful especially those in the minority. And I'm, I'll say this like it is. You have got to. We cannot neglect or ignore what is happening. You see what I'm saying? You can't. You have got to say it like it is. You see, yes, it is a spirit, but what is now, there's an agenda. You see what I'm saying? So because the person in power is, it's almost like whether it is deliberate, whether he knows what he's doing or he doesn't, because it's almost like you're empowering the folk that are doing those things to do it. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's very sad that those, you know, I see people posting on social media, I went to the White House, you know, preach, I went to the White House, I sat with the, you ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing. The picture is bigger than you. You go into the White House, you ain't done nothing. You have got to make a stand. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You have got to make a stand. Going there, you know, making, you know, getting clicks and likes, you don't do nothing. It might grow your ministry social media wise but trust me you are not a friend of intercession the devil ain't scared of you you see what i'm saying but you see we need people filled with power to stand and say hey enough is enough don't take in of this stuff that is happening for you know for granted don't take it lightly you understand don't take it lightly is there not a cause why are you hating? Why is this happening? We need to search and see where it's coming from. And if a spirit has taken over, we need to deal with that spirit. People are looking for leadership. And there's a void. Toxic. Every time you turn on the news, there's something happening now. Every time there's something going on. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you this hour. We bless your name. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be. We decree that your will will supersede every person's will and desire. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the sacrifices that you keep receiving from us. It's a blessing to be in this position. We lift up our students before you, God. We lift up our, our children. The Father God, the, the children that we have, gathered as a ministry we put them before you god let the blood preserve them in the name of jesus let the blood preserve them we pray for them we cover them we say that father god give them the favor that they need in jesus mighty name amen thank you for those who responded to the email that i sent out you know i just sent you a uh you know uh, an update on the expenses that you know in, in in the kids who are in school thank you for those who responded uh you know sister washington i've seen your email thank you so much okay uh it is a blessing to find yourself in this position okay and i want you to know that be be excited about what the lord is accomplished some of you joined Brahman to think that you're going to be praying for your own stuff and you know that was it but god it's almost like god god has got you on 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 another tangent now now you have a burden for people that you don't even know now you have a burden for folk that you know you never imagined you know you would come into contact with that is what you know prayer you understand that is what genuine intercession is about okay so thank you so much thank you for those of you who understand 
what God is calling this ministry to be. Thank you for those who understand. Some of you are already mature. Some of you have become matured on prayer mantle. So I thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. I, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm so blessed to be connected to you. You have no idea. I'm so touched to be a part. I'm so touched to be your brother. I'm so touched to be your sister. God is truly with us. Okay, so I want you to just be encouraged and stay focused and, you know, just stay strong. Okay? Stay strong. I love you all. God richly bless you. God keep you. In Jesus' mighty name. Have a blessed day. Anything you want to let me know, let me have it. Okay? And I'll get back to you. I love you all. God bless you. Goodbye. Sister Sherry, you couldn't pull it up? Okay, uh, let me see. Maybe I can send it another way to you. Okay, God is good. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. If you can't pull it up, let me know. Send me an email. I'll see if there's another way that I can send it. Okay, so why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you email me? Some of you listen. Why didn't you email me to tell me you can't pull it up? So just, just let me know. You know. Send me an email. Maybe I'll send it in another format, okay? You send me, don't, you're not bothering me, just send me the email. I wanted to see where your money is going. You understand? Daniela is going to school today, just so pray for her, okay, for, um, for you know, transportation, mercy. She called me this morning and said, morning, daddy, um, yes. I said, is everything? He said, yeah. I said, you're going to school today? She said, yeah. I said, yeah, but can I have some pocket money? So I said, yeah, 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 come and collect the money. So she's, she, she, she's on her way here. We'll give her about 200 CDs, you know. See, I just wanted, I just wanted to know that she, she, you know, she, she's not alone. You understand? You understand? You know, sister, to get you. So why didn't you email me? Devil is a liar. So you know, I wanted to. I want her to know that she's not alone. So she's gonna come and collect some money. Like you know, just you call it pocket money. You know, like you know, she's a young girl. Maybe she might see something that she wanna. You know, she, she, you know she, that she'll be confident. You see, so that's what you know. That's I, I want them all to be confident. So God is good, amen. So God bless you. Um, I'm just gonna check on Philip's uh, laptop. Okay, they've given me some prize. I'm going to check on it, see what we can do for him too. Okay, so that he'll be okay. You know, God is good. God is good. Love you all, family. Amen. Let me go get Micaiah ready, to, you know, to bath. He ate or well, he slept, so he kind of like, his bathing is a bit late today. So I'm, I'm just going to go get him ready. As soon as he bath, he's going to sleep. You know that boy already. He's going to go sleep. So let me go get him ready, okay? So I love you all. God bless you. So Rebellion, yes, I will. It's all going to, I love that, sister. it's going to work out. You know, we, 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 we don't quite know the way yet, but you know, we're going. You know what I'm saying? We're just wanting, you know, I wake up in the morning, I go to the bank and I take out some money and I just come and make some payments. And I say, God, I don't understand it, but you know, it's going to work out. You know what I mean? What well, my plan was to buy the land, I'm kind of like pulling in the back burner for now. You know, I ain't told my wife yet, but you know, God knows. God knows. Do you see what I'm saying? God knows. Amen. God knows. Is it Taze? Taze here, Queen. God bless you. God knows, okay? So God bless you. Love you all. Catch you later.